Hey everyone, Siobhan Moran here, Driving for Your Success. And today's topic is about wealth, W-E-A-L-T-H, wealth. And what is real wealth? What is our own real wealth? And I think the best way to start this out is to have a conversation from uh, the point of a client of mine who has been with me some time and was deeply offended, deeply offended about something that his wife had spent money on, how much she'd spent it and how much it cost. And, you know, he was just incensed and, you know, many relationships are like that, one spouse or the other. And truth of the matter is he lives in a $6 million home cash paid off. He has several cars. I don't even know how many. And he now has a business that we helped him take from negative 5 million to about 35 million. And the fascinating thing is his incensed attitude toward money is really, really, really about wealth. And then I have another client who has a fraction of what this gentleman has and her income's better than ever. We, we've taken her from zero to, I don't know, uh, I think $20,000. She's on, on target to get uh, her first six figures. And she's happy with her family. Her husband is immensely supportive. They celebrate all the fun things that she's up to and her spending the way she needs to spend and they celebrate how his business is growing and they celebrate all of the beautiful things that they have in their world. And while she may indicate that she wants that kind of wealth that this other gentleman has, the truth of the matter is when we talked about it recently, she's gotten to the place of yeah, I am a generator. I really, through the teachings and the mentorship that you've given me, I can generate anything and I'm going to get there and I'm going to get there with much more ease, much more freedom of expression, much more uh, beauty in my relationship and her kids are just playing an even bigger role. So she has really understood the true value of wealth, whereas this other particular client who is upset about money and whatever his wife is spending and not really treating her like the queen has a really upside down and uh, greedy attitude toward wealth. And that's a shame because oftentimes as people get more money, they end up with that greedy attitude. And it's one of the dividers that we really need to work on in our own selves as to the more we have, the more we have to share. And we think when we don't have a lot that we're gonna do that, but not everybody really has that knob and switch in their brain and isn't really ready or willing to work on that piece. And they oftentimes come from greed and lack the more they have. So if you're in any of the, one of these two places, uh, let me know how I can serve you. Let me know how I can help you. And let me know what true wealth means to you. And if any of this resonates with you, or you feel like it would resonate with somebody else in your world, and you can be a hero to them, and they just need to hear it from a different point of view, then by all means share it. Thank you for sharing it. And I would adore it if you would subscribe and say some wonderful things about what you have experienced through this little comparison of wealth. May your wealth be beautiful, graceful, heart-centered, and always uplifting to you and your family. My name is Siobhan Moran. You can find me at SiobhanMoran.com or you can find me uh, at EpicLifer.com. And as always, have an amazing day. Thanks so much.